How's it going, everybody? I hope you're enjoying your day. I'm sure you're all having lots of fun playing some of those old school classic arcade games, Sega Genesis. A lot of people have been asking about, say, Game Boy Advance, Color, Super Nintendo. Well, as you can see here, it looks like we have it running. Now, in the back, you can see that 5.0. Or no, sorry, in the back on the monitor, I got it running on 4.1.0. And we got Game Boy Color running on 5.0.2 here on the colored switch. Everything is good. Controls are working, but you have to use the D-pad. The joystick is not working currently, but that's okay. Everything else seems to be pretty good. I'm playing Pokemon Yellow up here. Oh, look, everything got green. Ha <laughs> ha. It's pretty cool, eh? So... It's not too bad. I'm going to be making a quick tutorial coming up real soon. It won't take long at all. The video is going to be uploaded as we speak. And you'll be able to hopefully get this up and running. There are some limitations and it's not perfect. There is audio. As you can hear on the switch here. There's audio on both but I'm running it on... This one is more stretched, the emulator. And this one is more the original size. The stretch version does run a little slower. These are things I'm going to talk about in uh, the more detailed video and the instructional video that I'm going to have for everybody. But as you can see here, if I show a little bit of the gameplay right now, you'll see that we do have the game running here. Pretty good. Have to use the D-pad, as I said, to move around. But you are able to save your game. Um, when you do save your game, you have to then push the X button. As you see there, saving. It will save it into a file. So you have to save within the game and then push the X button. And it will save an actual file on your Nintendo Switch within your ROMs folder, if I'm not mistaken. And if you were to play another game, you would actually have to, say, rename that file... Uh, with a one at the end or something like that or place it somewhere else this way when you saved within that game it wouldn't overwrite the save file because it's always the same name it's a current limitation there will be other emulators updates on things um, the audio wasn't working here a matter of hours ago but now it's getting there so can't really complain about that and I really hope you enjoy this video I know some people may think, oh, it's a teaser, but it's not. I wanted to let people know as soon as possible that we are getting somewhere with all these emulators and what's running. PFBA, we'll see. We got all the old arcades, Sega Genesis, Master System, uh, Master Drive, all that good stuff. And... Yeah, I can't really complain. I could pick one of these games randomly and it would probably work no problem. So, play one of the Street Fighters. We'll just pick a random version. Watch it load up. Pokemon, as I said, still playing here. Uh, this version is 5.0.2, this Switch that I'm displaying right now. And, yeah, the next video is coming up real soon. Hope you like, subscribe, share, and stay tuned for the tutorial on how to get this going on your Switch. Because I'm sure many people would like to at least have an opportunity. Speed does run pretty good. Even though the audio is a little bit out of tune, I'll call it. But in that regard, you're still good to go. Use your D-pad. You can get around. You can push the A button. And you can select certain things. And roughly, it's not. Not too bad at all. Do you want total dial? No. No, I don't want a water Pokemon. That's not my choice. I'd rather something else. Let's get a little closer on this so you guys can get a little better view on what's going on. Um, think it over carefully. Your partner is important. Yes, thanks for the reminder. We know the partner is important when it comes to all of this. Let's see what we got over here. Grass Pokemon. No, I do not want Ras Pokemon. Your partner is important. Yes, we get it. 
There should be a fire Pokemon if I'm not mistaken. There he is. That's my guy. Cyndaquil. Great Pokemon too. Now let me go so I can battle. Give a quick nickname. Nope. Okay, whoops, didn't mean to click that again. Yes, yes, here's my phone number, call me. I'm not gonna call you, bud. More, more stuff to say. I wanna at least get into a battle real quick, just show you roughly how we are with gameplay and everything like that. It's nice to see Game Boy Color running. There was a version of this that was black and white for a moment. It was pretty funny, actually. Might try and get a copy of that just for just for fun. But if we can actually get into a battle screen anytime soon, that'd be nice. Let's walk into some grass. We should get something. As I said, audio is not perfect. As you can hear there real quickly. Not going to play the audio for that long. Just because it isn't running the greatest tackle cynical use tackle who's stronger me versus him really he's gonna beat me it looks like I don't know Oh, he's done. That's it. So if you want to save, pause, go down to save, save the game. Would you like to save? Yes. There's already a save file. Is that okay to overwrite? Yes. Don't turn off the power. Obviously, game was saved nice and quick. Now you want to push the X button and your save will actually be saved within the file and you should be good to go from my understanding if there's an issue give it time it'll be worked out tutorial video is coming real soon now I hope you like what you've seen again there's also a tutorial for how to get homebrew running in general we also have another tutorial for getting PFBA running which is an emulator on 4.1.0 you can run this version of Zelda Mystery of Solaris DX which can be found in the App Store which should be just over here and as you can see within the App Store there's a bunch of things you can download a lot of them aren't working yes we know that but give it time and they will be so proof of concept we're good to go so a lot of things that'll be useful here and can't really complain in the end but no some of them aren't working so yes people are complaining or making it known yes we have an understanding and we know that that is the situation and believe me, many developers are working on it at this point in time. So if you like this video and you want to see the tutorial on how to get Game Boy Color running, I will have that up ASAP. Um, there's a few different copies right now. I think the only version of it that's up is the full screen version. I might have had the developer post the other versions up so that you can jump between them. I just put them in different folders, the actual files that make it run. This way I can have a version that's bigger, one that's smaller. The smallest one seems to work in resolution, quickest frame rates in that regards. So that's why when I say the small screen, the small screen has the best frame rate in regards to everything right now. This one's a little smaller than full screen and it seems to be running decent decent not not too bad tolerable as you can hear the audio is not the greatest but the the smallest version that you'll find take care like subscribe all that good stuff